Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chiso Aka. If you're just coming into my channel for the first time, seeing my face for the first time, you're very, very welcome. I am Chiso Aka. Like I said, I film about business, family, men empowerment, and more out of Uyo in Nigeria, West Africa. Now, today I am so, 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 so excited because I bring a fresh episode. And this today we are talking money. Yeah, money, 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 money. Okay, like working a nine to five job, a job that resumes in the morning, say seven, eight, nine, and ends from four p.m., five p.m., six p.m. as it were, which is regularly called nine to five. It's hard enough, right? It is such a sacrifice. It's such a time when you put in your all, usually in your youth, and you give, you know, a last sum of your time, you know, building um, together with the team. A particular ideology, business, or enterprise, whatever it is. In my case, between 2007 and 2016, I worked, you know, the bulk of my time working in corporate Nigeria, where within those years, and I remember having a discussion with someone who was just longer said that, oh, you knew, you, you mean I have always known you as a social media influencer, as a blogger, not knowing you had a 95 job all those years. So that was why I was brought about this video, and I thought to do what my streams of income that I built while working in 9 to 5. So if you're here for my seven streams of income that I built while working in 9 to 5, then don't go anywhere. Welcome back. Great guys. I am so excited to be filming this because a lot of things have happened. You know how you grow. You know, a lot of things happen to make you grow. I remember back in 2006, 2007, we yeah, I just started my first job, but it, was, it wasn't a very um, good paying job at the time. And I had a relative who was telling me at the time to start my own business, register my own company. Now, coming, I was 27 at the time, coming from my background and where I have been going through school and stuff, I really didn't have any form of business background. I didn't understand how to make money. I didn't even understand how to price my skill. I didn't understand how, what it takes, you know, um, you know, to start a business, register it. I thought it was something that when I was way out of my league. But by 2008, 2009, I had started my own business out of frustration. But I will bring you that gist some other time. But right now, while I was working, I have I worked four different jobs between 2007 and 2016. I worked as a media assistant, and then rose to be a media manager, where I edited books, magazines, marketed, and all that. And then I also was a data entry staff for a pension company between 2008 and 2009. Then I went on to work in a gift packaging and delivery company for a few months before I went into working in an NGO, two different NGOs at the time. One is a charity, family based, another is an institutional non profit organization before I left paid employment in 2016, uh, early 2017, finally. Now, these are the kind of things that happened, you know, being back the scene. Everybody sees you working, everybody sees you going to, to work, but to sustain or to gain financial freedom. At that time, I didn't think it was financial freedom. Was it uh, making me financially free? No, I was any more, but I was also working harder. That meant that I worked night and day. And uh, but these are the things that I did to build those businesses. I had to strike up a few businesses by the time I wrote them down because some of the businesses I started failed. And if you are an entrepreneur, you know that that's normal, guys. That's really normal. So things like my gift packaging company, after I left the, the, my gift uh, packaging services, after I left my gift packaging company, was just a, a momentary time uh, for a short time, and that didn't last. So I don't consider it a stream of income. Uh, also, I was able to um, do some other businesses. I sold clothes. I sold um, other things, you know, in the line of my course. So those are not part of businesses that I'm telling you today. Businesses I'm talking about today are the ones that have sustained till now. So number one on my list, number one business that I built while working a nine to five job was my editing, my copy editing service. Now, if, um, I am somebody who is a voracious reader. I have always edited books without pay even while going through school, university. But at the time when I was working in a media company and the salary was so low, I couldn't even travel back to see my parents. I used to live in Abuja and they were in Aba at the time in Nigeria. 
and I knew that I had to monetize this skill that I've had for years. Now, I started my media, my, my copy editing company in 2009, finally registered it officially in 2010, and I edited so many books and I began to find myself, it was tough, I started from low prices to you know, where I am today, okay? So editing books is something that comes naturally with me and something I have developed over these past 11 years. The second stream of income that I built while working the 9 to 5 job was starting a blogging trainer. Started training people to start their own blogs. In 2012 was where I trained two people who didn't pay me anything. I was just excited. That was the year I went blog berserk. If you have watched any, any of my videos, you would have heard me say that. And um, because blogging helped me to sell my, my copy editing business. And by 2013, I started a proper academy where people were coming in to learn to start their own blog and to use their blog to grow their business. So that was another stream of income that started that still is still um, running till today. Number two stream of income was event sponsorship. During the course of training people to start their own blog and stuff, we had a sort of alumni at the end of the year and I began what I call the bloggers party that became the bloggers gala and awards in Abuja in Nigeria. And so people who came through that blog and that forum and other friends and bloggers at that time between 2013 and 2017 in particular, but even though it's still on now in skeletal form, where people who drove this idea, we had award nights, we had real fun. And while doing that, I entered the world of corporate sponsorship. I had to, we had to get event, plan, event management companies, airline companies, you know, telecom companies to sponsor some of our awards and some of our um, of element of our events. That was the season that I learned how to plan proper events and invite, you know, people who are like la creme, la, the, the cream of the economy or of the society, right? So that was the third income stream that I built while working a nine to five job. The fourth one is book publishing consultancy as, as well as ghost writing. I began to help a few people to market their books, even though the first time I marketed a book, I failed woefully. I had to, I had to go do placement in, in um, bookshops that didn't sell. Now, I do understand certain things about book marketing at the time, that advertising comes before placement. Okay, but I learned the hard way. But guys, that was one thing I did. Also, Bob, um, the main thing was book consultancy, letting people understand what they need to do to get their book, especially because they were self-publishing to get their book published and a record time without having to rely on anyone. Okay, now book publishing was something that really, 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 really excited me because people who wanted me to publish their book came from people who I had edited their book who asked questions like, oh, can you help me do a cover design? Can you help me do an inner layout design? Can you help me get an illustrator? Can you help me, you know, print? So I had to get channel partners who I worked with to make their books happen. And it was such an exciting time, as well as ghostwriting. A few people, a few of my clients didn't come for editing. They wanted me to do actual writing for them. And of course, they own the copyright. So those, that was my fault. I, I grouped all that into book publishing and consultancy. That was another stream of income that still exists that I built while working a nice five job. Number five stream of income was blog post sponsorship. I was writing my blog way between 2009 till now. By 2011, I had begun to interview people and all the people began to send me, you know, um, advice. People send me their stuff and I would edit and post on my blog for them. So, and I started doing some reviews as well, interviews as well that are paid and banner placements as well. All of that I called blog sponsored posts. And that stream of income was so exciting and it's still so exciting right now. Even though I don't do so much of it right now, I don't get a lot of those kind of jobs now for my blog but it's still very viable. Number six, stream of income that I built, that, sorry, that I built while fifth, while working, six, sorry, while working a nine to five job with a sponsored campaign, so, sponsored social media campaigns. Now, this was an exciting one because we'll have brands and organizations pay, for, pay us in groups, you know, to attend events, ideological events or political events, and then um, give us, uh, place us on contract sometimes to be the amount piece for a period of time sometimes it's 15 days 10 for one month three months six months and i had a lot of that going on between all these years till now i have worked with so many organizations so many organizations driving their agenda driving their their passion and their ideology for a better world of course 
and of course in one of them I had to be an ambassador that was paid on contract for a particular time and that's one stream of income that I really really value. That particular stream of income helped me to tour a lot of places, went to different states in the country, you know, we were lodging four star hotels, three star hotels, certain times to you know, for certain kind of events where we do coverages and stuff. That also got me into a lot of opportunities like the Hive Africa uh, camp uh, campaign. There are lots of campaigns I've done. Um, also, the being, being a man in Nigeria um, landmark report was one of such, and so many of them. So many of them I've done for banks, for the post office rebranding, for the girl child campaign, for sexuality and uh, reproductive health. A lot of those kind of things. Also for the extractive industry, um, mineral resources, and I have a lot of experience, you know, with, with sponsored social media campaigns, and that stream of income was also something I did while working in a nice five job. Number, that was number six, right? Number, I don't even know where I am again. Okay, so let me give you a bonus. One other one I had to do was PR services because I had this avalanche of bloggers who have trained, who I helped to connect to organizations as well because people who went through my academy, people started looking for people to work for them full time, social media jobs were on the rise so they were coming to me to say oh do you have somebody trained who can handle, who can take the post of social media manager, or social media assistant and um, I had to do a lot of um, third party PR uh, for or such organizations, send them staff, HR, duties and um, sometimes you know handle their campaign for press press briefings because i have a lot of blogs that can that, that i can syndicate their news or their press releases too i did all of those stretch media campaigns whether they wanted to be on radio or tv they wanted to also be on blogs as many blogs as, as they want across africa i had a lot of blogger friends at this time i had grown a a, co um, a community of bloggers and social media influencers so organization found it very easy to contact I and other my organization to help them publicize or spread their word out using our mediums online because when it's online it can be there forever right so these are the streams of income that I built while working nine to five jobs um, in my next video in my next episode I'm going to show you all that streams of income I built when I became a full entrepreneur who saw herself like a late bloomer. So if you're somebody that didn't start making money till well into your almost 30, 35, you're not alone. I'll bring that in my next video. Tell me that this video was interesting by thumb, thumbs up by also subscribing and putting on the bell button for notifications and I will come your way again in my next video. Thank you for watching and bye.